Cambodia has one of the largest amputee population and casualties of landmines. So I knew that I wanted to go there and meet people on the ground and see how survivors were affected. Melanie Saltzman recently traveled to the Southeast Asian country to report on members of a rural community who've sustained horrific injuries from landmine accidents. I met a 17-year-old girl that had lost her limb, her leg, a month earlier, and she was terrified. I wanted to tell this story because I wanted to see what survivors go through on a daily basis, long after landmines are gone or long after accidents have happened. Each year we see up to 8,000 patients in Batambang, and 90% of these patients are uh, mine victims. Saltzman was part of a team of student journalists at Northwestern University's Medill Graduate School of Journalism, investigating the deadly legacy of landmines and cluster bombs around the world, and Washington's $3.2 billion effort to clean them up. We really want to give them a sense of what these, how small and dangerous they are. Josh Meyer leads the Washington-based project. Each year we pick a topic that we think is a real substantive topic for the students to tackle, something that's going to give us a good story one way or the other that will allow them to travel internationally. And this year we picked uh, landmines and cluster munitions. In addition to Cambodia, students also reported from Mozambique, Ukraine, Jordan, and a still active conflict zone in Iraq. Matthew Schell and a teammate covered mine clearance operations in Iraqi Kurdistan. It was exhilarating. I mean, it's when we've invested so much time researching this topic, and to be out there in the field face to face with the people who are actually doing this work was magnificent. I'm a veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan, and I have a personal investment in the country. And so the subject matter is something which speaks very directly to me. Their assignments were for the school's National Security Reporting Project, which focuses on issues related to defense, security, and civil liberties. Getting them out there traveling to places like this, I think, is just a really cool experience for the students. And they really do learn things that you, again, you just can't learn in the classroom. The students found that while the U.S. is a world leader in landmine cleanup, there's still a lot more that needs to be done to remove these deadly remnants of war. We give up. That's what we do. Their findings were published on Global Post, an award-winning digital journalism site, and on a website they created especially for their projects. By producing stories and by showing survivors and the needs that are still out there and humanizing it, you hope that it'll encourage not only people but also governments to stand up and do even more. So we want to see a smile eh, when you leave. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.